I think it's brave to try to plan a show while we're still in a pandemic because, you know, when we first started planning this, we didn't even know if we were going to be able to still pull it off or if things were going to shut down again. And so that's always a worry, but you can't live in the fear. You know, you can live in hope and that's part of being brave. It's not being fearless, but, you know, persevering despite the fear. And so I think that is a real true statement for what, where we are right now, that we're just going to keep dancing. It was extraordinary. It helped me to exhale. I'm so happy that I was invited by Elizabeth to be here. It changed my week. It was awesome. It was awesome. We really enjoyed. Everyone should see something like this. So empowering for men and women. Travis's piece, piece. Uh, we stand for those who stood. That was a really great piece. Yeah. Very, very intentional with the theme and the narrative. It was a very strong piece. Being brave comes in many different shapes and forms. We have some pieces that show being brave as being in the front, leading from the front, um, showing protesting and things like that. But also part of being brave is including self-care taking care of yourself, being present, pushing through even when you don't want to. So I think that this show really shows the spectrum of what it means to be brave and how it's not one size fits all, that everybody can be brave in their own way. We're not gonna give up hope.